Let's go to this conversation now. In March 2019, Professor Mashudu Chifularo and his team successfully performed a transplant surgery of a patient whose middle ear was completely damaged in a car accident, making it the first in the world. This groundbreaking procedure offers hope to many of those who suffer from loss of hearing. Professor Chifularo joins us this evening to talk about the progress of this technology so far. Prof, good evening, and thank you so much for your time tonight. Certainly um, a groundbreaking procedure. What made you and the team decide to take this case on? Uh, uh, good evening to you and to your viewers. Um, firstly, I mean, when a challenge comes, uh, if we are still alive, we're still breathing, we must take it on. That's what we decided to take it on. We are not cowards. Mm. So we need to solve the problem. And let's talk then about solving the problem. Here's a patient who's just been presented to yourselves and the team, and, uh, you know, they've lost their hearing. And certainly um, that can be a, a daunting task as any. How then did you, um, you know, begin with this particular process and get to the point where the operation became successful? The beginning was um, when we tried all other solutions, and we were always looking around for new technology. And uh, the um, presence of the fourth industrial revolution and what the 3D technology can do, then we started to think outside the box. And when we started to think outside the box, that's when we saw the light on the other side of the tunnel. And that's why we said, let's follow this light and see where it leads us. And uh, fortunately, we could successfully recreate all the bonds of the middle year using a 3D technology. And let's talk then about this 3D technology, because I, I mean, I see here that you were even able to recreate bones, the hammer and all of that. Just talk to us about yes. this intricate process. How did it all unfold? We, we look at uh, uh, available technology, and fortunately, there were some gentlemen who have used a 3D technology in, uh, uh, in the country in Jamestown. Then I show them the CT scan, I show them my intention, and then we look at it, and then we said, let's start to recreate uh, different models. And then after that, then I had to try it in the lab. And after a period of three years, then we were successful to say, we can recreate and put this thing in a human's um, uh, ear, and the person can re uh, uh, regain the hearing. Mm. And so it took us long. No, continue, Prof, continue. So it took us long, and but uh, it's two years now, 2019, and I still continue to see the patient is still very happy. We are about to embark on a second phase of this study so that we'll be able to help majority of patients who need this, this, this uh, type of treatment. And what does the second phase entail? The second phase is going to entail a clinical trial because it's the first in the world, nobody has, has done it. So it's almost like a hip replacement, which is the, the biggest uh, joint in the body. And then the middle ear is the smallest bone in the body. So because it's new and nobody has done it, so I have to go through what we call clinical trial, follow the ethical uh, principle, and then rewrite the process of doing this middle ear transplant. Mm -hmm. And so we are very, very excited. We are we are looking forward. As soon as we know what is happening with the COVID, uh, in the second half of this year, we are going to hit the ground running again. And Prof, in, in a time where you know innovation is being encouraged, and yet we, we sometimes have a shortage. Of, of innovators and I know that this has been a passion of yours because you even focused on it over the last um, you know decade for, for, for your PhD. Let's talk then about what made you decide to pay special focus to this because this is an area that some would say is uncharted territory. Um, I think I was fortunate because when I started training 30 years ago I started to be very passionate about healing the, 
patient with deafness because if you cannot hear, it's like you watching the TV without sound and you are isolated from the environment. And that's why I'm also very passionate about cochlear implant, middle ear implant, like now I'm going to do this middle ear transplant. So anything to do with reconstructing hearing is very close to my heart. And also just researching the deafness as such. It's one of the my future dream that I have that is to do develop a center where we research fully on how can we improve or prevent damage to such a special sense organ, which is a sense of hearing. Mm. So just just contributing and helping somebody. And when you restore their hearing, the joy you see, the tears you see. You know, the hearts you receive from the patients is, is more than anything that you can buy to make a difference in somebody's life. So that is my passion. And um, I'm very, very focused. And fortunately, things are coming around. And I'm getting support, uh, um, you know, to be able to do it. And we have patients waiting from all over the world. When I say all over the world, I mean all over the world. And when, you know, Prof, I mean, certainly this is groundbreaking. I mean, South Africa is making history here. Let's talk then about, um, you know, access to funding, which is something that can then become a little bit of a challenge. How much support are you getting on the team to ensure that you continue with such a project? Uh, I think uh, I'm not sure if I'm even allowed. Uh, some, it's difficult to get funding because, you know, when you do things like this, nobody believed you. And um, it, it's synonymous with anything that is new. Nobody believes because they don't see what you see. So innovators don't see now. They see five to ten years down the line. And fortunately, I managed to get some limited funding, which can help me to do the first part of the, uh, of the study by one of the businessmen in the country who support the University of Pretoria. I don't think I'm allowed to mention the name, but and also the principal at the University of Pretoria, uh, Prof. Cooper, he helped me a lot together with this um, funder who has decided to put money to say, uh, Chifularo, here is the money, go ahead and do the research. So I really owe him that support mm. and just thank him. Prof so it's not easy to get money. Indeed, indeed. Prof, congratulations to you and the team. This is certainly something that is, you know, we cannot really look at it as a small feat. This is groundbreaking indeed. And thank you so much for your time tonight because this is certainly, um, you know, quite a groundbreaking um, surgery that has been done, this procedure, um, 3D technology, just being able to ensure that somebody else is able to get the gift of hearing and listening to Prof there just talking about how important it is for um, you know someone to then be able to be gifted with such because then it improves their lives in a tremendous way and certainly hoping that that second phase there gets underway soon and he's then able to roll out such a project to you know various um, hospitals where a number of people are in need and that was Professor Mashudu Chifularo. Um,